Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins. Hope everyone's doing well today, here with your daily free picks. So today's video, as always guys, brought to you by betopenly.com, the world's first peer-to-peer -peer sports betting site. If you guys have not checked them out, you definitely need to go check them out. Uh, far and away, the best value in sports betting. The community is growing. And when that community grows, guys, it means good things for us. It means additional value, more people to take our bets, more posted bets, et cetera, et cetera. So go check them out. Um, yesterday, put up an 0-4 in free picks. We went 0-2. I'll go over those plays in a second, guys. Uh, overall for the day, we finished 10-7 and in Masterclass. Still, a um, couple games eluded us, which I felt, uh, you know, probably should have hit, could have hit, whatever is what it is. Um, so for today, I have three plays for you guys. I have hockey, a couple college basketball plays. And Masterclass, I have a college football play, seven college basketball plays, one NBA, and a couple hockey plays as well. Uh, so fairly busy day. And I will see you guys again this afternoon. Uh, well, actually, no, I shouldn't say this afternoon. It'll be this evening um, when I get out Saturday's pick. So I will get out Saturday's plays. I'll try to get them out as early as possible. However, I'm not going to rush any part of the process, but um, I have gone through a fair amount of stuff. So uh, yeah, and we're gonna we are gonna have a bit of soccer this weekend. So and I'll try to get some uh, some soccer and free picks as well for you guys. Um, so quick recap: yesterday, uh, Buffalo and Florida, um, Bobrovsky, arguably the top goalie in hockey right now, statistically. Anyways, I would say that his only knock that I have against Sergey is that every once in a while he can get into his own head, and we saw that yesterday. Really, with Bobrovsky, I'm confident to bet him any day of the week, any time. I'd be confident to bet him next game. Um, I think he probably has a good bounce back game. He just wasn't there. He just wasn't there. And then Florida, um, lately, has been playing the comeback kids. And uh, they turned around and, and just annihilated Buffalo. So, um, yeah. Uh, have him, I mean, yeah. I thought, I figured at least, like... With Buffalo getting that 3 nothing lead, um, it's not good for us because, uh, you know, Buffalo does let in some questionable goals from time to time. So, you know, every once in a while, you can give up some early goals. You can weather the storm. Buffalo gets up three. Uh, it doesn't look good for us anymore. So um, that was that. Now the football game, um, I guess it remains to be seen, you know, what would have happened if... Uh, well, first off, doesn't injure his finger. Uh, I felt personally that he was having a very hard time throwing after that. I mean, you saw him skip some passes off the ground and airmail a couple. It, it looked like he was having a tough time um, through four interceptions. So without throwing four interceptions, um, two of them inside the 30, without uh, missing that first field goal, you know, is that game potentially different? Yes. Okay, so every time, you know, it, when I get a positive result on these, obviously, you know, everyone's like, oh, great pick. You know, when I have a bad result on them, everyone's obviously what? You know, they're going to say, oh, how could you possibly take New Orleans? You know, they're hurt. They're all the, all the reasons why you think I shouldn't take New Orleans are a lot of the reasons why I do take New Orleans. I had New Orleans yesterday as a plus two dog plus two dog. And you know what? Maybe if we go zero turnovers, like just net even turnovers for the game, maybe they are a plus two dog. Okay. Um, maybe they're, maybe they're even, I don't know, but I had them as a plus two dog and that's just way too much value to ignore. Not to mention the systems I had on it. So long-term, you know, I, I would do it again tomorrow. I would do it again today. Um, you know, happy we went one unit. I probably, on that game, probably could have justified two units. Um, just didn't, yeah, ultimately felt that one was the best play. Um, the money distribution, how it ended up. 78% um, of the bets were on uh, on Dallas. So beautiful money distribution. I mean, man, just looking at this right now, even, even on the money line, it, it makes me want to go back and... and Bet this game again and take New Orleans. 32% of bets, 48% of money. That's about as nice as it's going to look. Money line, money line, 
32% of bets, 50% of the money. Um, pretty solid across the board on New Orleans. I mean, there's, there's no doubt in my mind where the Sharps were. The public was rejoicing yesterday. So it is what it is, guys. Look, you know, going to lose some games. We move on. That is that. All right, so let's get to today's stuff, and then I want to get Masterclass video out and um, get back to work. All right, um, starting off in hockey, we are going to go one unit play on Vegas and Arizona over six goals. Vegas and Arizona over six goals. Um, hit a nice over yesterday. Hopefully, you can get another nice over today in hockey. Um, yeah, well, actually, we yesterday we had Devils in Minnesota. They had six goals. At the we had over six. They had six goals at the end of the second period. They didn't score anything in the third period. Got down to like three minutes to go. They finally put one in. We're starting to sweat that I might only get a push out of that. But anyways, um, hopefully they get this done much earlier today. Vegas and Arizona over six goals. Now I have a half unit play, and this is an added or extra game, so it's a half unit play. College basketball game number three zero six. 159 and it's Bryant and Houston. We're gonna go over 140 and a half. Over 140 and a half for half a unit. And, <coughs> pardon me. And the final play, guys. Game number 868. College basketball. One unit on Purdue minus 12 and a half. One unit on Purdue minus 12 and a half. And that's it for free picks. Um, I will see you later. This, later tonight. It probably won't be this afternoon, I don't think. But anyways, um, either way, I'll see you later. Thank you guys very much. I really appreciate it. And as always, guys, have a very lucky day and bye for now.